what's happening guys today we're going to be taking a look at this capacitor meter this is the m6013 capacitor meter and there will be a link to it down below and the reason i got this is when we did the uh hidden capacitor video i didn't have an lcr meter here at home and uh figured i should get one so this one come out at a pretty reasonable price i believe i paid $26 for it on Amazon. So we're going to give it a shot here and see how it handles reading some very small capacitance values and some large capacitance values. And uh, yeah, it's powered either by a couple of AA batteries or it has that micro USB port there. I don't even know where my double A's are at the moment, so we'll probably go with the uh, USB port. And of course it has these nice short leads so that the wires themselves don't become too much. And then also has a little port down here. So let me get this thing powered up and set up and we're going to check some capacitances. All right, I was just reading through the manual here. I know, I know. Don't take away my guy card. I'm sorry. I just thought it was interesting. It reads from 0 0.01 picofarad. Wish I had one that small. Up to 470,000 microfarad. Or 470 millifarad. That's, that's a big capacitor. Enough for DIY user to professional engineer. I just thought you guys might enjoy that. Alright, so let's get all nice and zoomed in here. So you guys can see the screen and I'll power it up. Nice little OLED screen. And we'll zero it. Okay, so we're sort of zeroed. Now I'm just going to zoom out here for a minute so you guys can see how we're doing. Should we start small and go up or start up and come down? What do you guys think? All right, small and go up. So here is a 10 puff, 10 picofarad, which is, I think, the smallest I have. Let's plug her in there. Now, is it reading? Is it averaging? Yes, yeah, see, it's doing its averaging. So 11. 11 and a half, well within the tolerance for these ceramic capacitors. Nice. I'm impressed. I'm going to zero it out again. This time we'll go up to 82 puff. Eighty two puff and it's reading what seventy four, seventy five, seventy four, seventy four, seventy five. Me, me, me. It's all right. Zero it out again. We'll go up to a three hundred puff. What are we getting now? Turn itself off. All right, zero it. And 300 puff. 343. And then here we have the auto range. Zero to 47 nanos. Averaging. Yeah. And the last of our ceramics, which is a 104, 100 nano. Let's zero it. And we'll see what she has to say. Hmm. My 100 nano is reading 65 nano. I mean, it's climbing. Do I have to wait for it to eventually get to 100? That is a leaky capacitor. 
All right. How about we move on to some electrolytics? I know you guys can't read that. It's probably blurry. That's a 22. 22 micro. I'm just sorting it out. Make sure it's discharged. It says to make sure it's discharged. And let's see what we get. 22 micro. 23.7. All right. I mean, yeah. Uh, what do we got here? 68. Make sure she's shorted out. 68 microfarad. 25 volt. And the winning number is 66.1. Hell yeah. All right, I'm not going to go up through the whole list of these. Let's jump up a little bit bigger here. What do we got? What do we got? 470. 470. Make sure she's shorted out here. All right, 470 coming at you. Yeah, 470 showing 448. Not bad. And who's next? 2200 microfarad, 25 volt. Sure, it's nice and shorted out. And what do we get here? 1995. I mean, that's within the spec for these cheap caps. All right, and finally, the big guy, 3300, but it's only got little stubbies, so we'll have to use the leads for this guy. So we'll zero out our leads. Make sure that guy is discharged. And here we go. Da -da -da. 3300 microfarad showing 3170. Yeah. Absolutely cool. I like it. What'd you say? What's inside of it? This is, dude, this is brand new. Like, my 12 year old postal girl just delivered it today. Thanks for using. Goodbye. And you want me to open it up? <laughs> Why the hell not? One moment, please. Oh. Tight. Tight. All right, you don't need to watch me take out a bunch of screws, right? But I'm sure you want me to get rid of that little calibration void. There we go. All right, let me get these other screws out. The first three came out easy. I swear, they must have used an impact wrench. Put that fourth one on. I'm not coming out. Okay. So, show me money, Penny. There are some more screws hidden under here. Oh, Lordy. I'll be back when I get them out. Okay. So here's what's under here. We've got we've got a diode here. I'm gonna zoom in. All right. We've got crystal here. We got a chip there. I can't quite read it. Those are some big capacitors. And what we got here? An inductor shielded under that nice piece of foil. So that's really all that's underneath of her. 
and there's nothing on this side nothing at all okay so here's the specifications page from the manual I'm not going to read it out loud you can pause it take a look at it but it is you know five digit accuracy up to one percent maybe down to one percent too I, I like the time looking at the, the final column here the four 47 micro to 470 millifarad the time 0.2 seconds to 30 seconds well that's not that bad I got a hundred microfarad cap here zero it out Boy, it's taking a while to zero, isn't it? Okay. So again, this is 100, 100 mics. Yeah, it'll take uh, about right or about a second. So, cool. All right, final impressions. This is cheap. ABS. I mean, you could have 3D printed this. Pretty stiff, though. But this is what a $26 LCR meter. It doesn't measure measure ESR. This is LCR only. Um, so yeah, would I recommend it for your home? Sure. Yeah, I would. I mean, I'm going to use it. So you're going to see it in more videos. For the office, no. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Pardon the children screaming in the background. Thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.